The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is heavily regarded as one of the greatest, if not the greatest game of all time. One of the most memorable things about Ocarina of Time is its 12 dungeons. Throughout the years, there has been extensive discussion about these dungeons for which one being the best and worst. This has been through various tier lists, YouTube videos, top 10 lists, and memes. All this media comes from one person's opinion, so that had me thinking, what if I made a Google Form survey to get hundreds of people's opinions? on these subjects. So that way we can get a group consensus and see which dungeon is actually the worst. Let's take a look at the results of the survey and we'll look at the dungeons in order. So the first dungeon is inside the Deku Tree. The first question I asked is do you like this dungeon? 78.6% of people liked it. The next question I asked is what dungeon was your favorite? And 2.8% said inside the Deku Tree. The next question I asked is what dungeon is your least favorite? And 1.5% said the Deku Tree. Since we're going to be comparing this dungeon with the other 11 dungeons in the game, I devised this formula so we're able to combine these three stats together to get a final score. Inside the Deku Tree gets a final score of 81.2. Now for the second child dungeon, Dodongo's Cavern. 72% of people like it, 5% said it was their favorite, 2.7% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 76.6. Now for the third child dungeon inside Jabu Jabu's Belly. 34.8% of people like it, 3.2% said it was their favorite, an astonishing 28.4% said it was their least favorite, giving it a pretty bad score of negative 15.6. Forest Temple, 82.5% of people like it, 33.4% said it was their favorite, 2.7% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 143.9. Fire Temple, 74.7% .7 of people like it, 7.1% said it was their favorite, 4.8% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 79.3. Ice Cavern. 46.8% of people like it, 1.9% said it was their favorite, 11.7% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 27.2. I think this one scored so low because it's not that memorable, and pushing the ice blocks can become pretty tedious. Right now for the infamous Water Temple. 47.5% of people like it, 7% said it was their favorite, 26.1% said it was their least favorite giving it a final score of 9.3. Inside Jabu Jabu's Belly actually scored worse, so the Water Temple isn't the worst temple in the game. I think the Water Temple being bad almost became an inside joke in the video game community. Because this joke got so out of control, when people played the Water Temple for the first time, they went into it with a negative mindset. This had a snowball effect, which made a lot of players despise this dungeon. I think in recent years, this opinion has largely changed, mainly because of the release of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. The 3DS version of Ocarina of Time made it so the iron boots and the hover boots can be equipped with just a button press, instead of having to pause the entire game. They also changed the icon for changing the water levels to make it a little bit more clear, so I think with these changes, when most people replayed Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, they realized that with this button change, it wasn't nearly as bad as they remembered. Bottom of the Well 54.6% of people like it, 1.9% said it was their favorite, 7.3% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 36.2. Shadow Temple 71.1% of people like it, 10% said it was their favorite, 5.6% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 80.5. Spirit Temple, 86.8% .8 of people liked it, 24.1% said it was their favorite, 1.3% said it was their least favorite, giving it an impressive 132.4. Gerudo Training Ground is the only optional dungeon in the game. 50% of people liked it, 0.7% said it was their favorite, 5.5% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 40.4. Lastly, we have Ganon's Castle. 68.9% of people like it, 2.9% said it was their favorite, 2.5% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 69.7. Here are all the dungeons in dungeon order, and here are all the dungeons from worst to best. The one major surprise for me is the Water Temple wasn't last, it actually wasn't even that close, it was over 20 points off. I've always liked the Water Temple, especially with the 3DS controls, our mods for the Nintendo 64 version that puts the Iron Boots and the Hover Boots on the D-pad. The last two times I played through Ocarina of Time though, I did a randomizer and I did Master Quest, so I barely remember these dungeons vanilla, so I'm not the best person to judge. So I'll trust your judgment with all these placings. 
Now let's check out the other questions I asked on the survey. What platform did you complete Ocarina of Time on for the first time? And out of every game that I've done so far, this by far has the most options. Nintendo 64 is by far the highest with 60.1%. One thing that really surprises me is just how high the two GameCube releases got. And honestly, I'm surprised how low the 3DS version is with less than 13%. The first time I personally completed Ocarina of Time was on the 3DS, so I thought that was going to be a little bit higher. Next question I asked is what character do you prefer playing as, Adult Link or Child Link? And 81.1% of people said Adult Link. Next question is what is your favorite tunic? And honestly, I'm pretty surprised at how even this ended up being. The fact that Zora and Goron are within 1% is pretty incredible. Next question is what is your favorite arrow type? And the Fire Arrow won with 41.4%. Next, let's check out how the 12 songs rank. First up is Zelda's Lullaby. 85.5% of people like it, 7.6% said it was their favorite, 7.3% said it was their least favorite, and using the same scoring system we talked about earlier, this gives Zelda's Lullaby 86.1. Epona's Song. 85.3% of people like it, 6.2% said it was their favorite, 3.5% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 90.7. Serious Song. 88.7% of people like it, 12.3% said it was their favorite, 5.6% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of an impressive 102.1. Sun Song. 69.1% of people like it, 2.8% said it was their favorite, 21% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 32.7. Song of Time. 82.1% like it, 6.7% said it was their favorite, 4.7% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 86.1. So this is tied with Zelda's Lullaby, and this is the first tie I've ever had doing this series. So to break this tie, I did a quick YouTube poll to see which one people prefer, and Song of Time came out on top. Next up is the Song of Storms. 92.2% of people like it, 23.9% said it was their favorite, 3.4% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of an impressive 133.2. This song is arguably as iconic as the Water Temple when it comes to internet culture. Minuet of Forest. 74% of people like it, 6% said it was their favorite, 4.4% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 77.2. Bolero of Fire. 81.5% of people like it, 11.1% said it was their favorite, 7.9% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 87.9. Serenade of Water. 71.6% of people like it, 5.3% said that it was their favorite, 14.4% said that it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 53.4. Requiem of Spirit. 72.9% of people like it, 6% said it was their favorite, 8.5% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 67.9. Nocturne of Shadow. 74.1% of people like it, 9.1% said that it was their favorite, 10.1% said that it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 72.1. Prelude of Light. 73.4% of people like it, 2.9% said it was their favorite, 8.9% said it was their least favorite, giving it a final score of 61.4. Here are all the songs in order of the pause menu, and here are all the songs in order from worst to best. I think this is a pretty nice list of the songs overall, I agree with pretty much everything on here. My next survey video is going to be on Paper Mario, and I have the survey in the description down below if anybody wants to fill that out. Also, if you enjoyed this survey video, I have a bunch of other survey videos about great games like Majora's Mask, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, and a ton of other games. If you enjoyed this video, if you could leave a like or maybe consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, and I hope that you all have a great day.